Hey y'all, Cy here, and husband. He's down in the house right now um, doing some other stuff, so he's not up here right now. But what he did was he cut these bench boards. Ah. He cut these bench boards to length, and then he went over it and he sanded it real good with the belt sander, and now it's my turn to sand it all again and then put a finish on it. I'm not sure what happened there. Mm. These are red alder slabs, and these benches are going to go with the red alder table that we made. We spent an entire week in Pineville, and that is when we made the table. But these benches were made over the course of a few months because we were only in Pineville for a few weekends each month. It's our retirement home, and we won't be moving over there permanently until August. So we try to get over there for weekends whenever we can. I asked husband what happened there, and he said that when he was cutting this, um, the saw jumped and hit that, so rats. So he left a pile of sawdust for me to try to fix it. So that's another job I'm gonna do. So I made a little wood putty with the sawdust and some wood glue, and you know what, it just never looks really great, but it, it filled up the cut mark at least. I sanded the other edge while that was setting up and just sanded and sanded until it was smooth. And that is as far as I got that weekend. When we returned a few weeks later, I continued to sand. And I flipped it over to sand the back side, which I didn't sand as much as I sanded the front side. And then it was finally ready to put on the polyurethane. Yay! So I put a coat on the underside first, and when that was dry, we put the legs on, which matched the table legs. Well, they wobble. So now I've got another job to do, make these not wobbly. So earlier Wally was barking out there and I went out there to look and he was barking at a buck and Gibbs went right up to it and barked at it and stuff. But anyway, they're barking again and the buck is up there and it's sitting, it's laying down. I'm gonna go see if we can get it. There, do you see it? That's right there. Doesn't seem to be bothered by the dogs. It only has one antler. Looks like it's chewing on stuff. Oh, they're running, running, running. Oops, I went the wrong way. Hey! Hey, big deer. You're like, whatever. Just sitting there. Hi! <laughs> that was a nice little break. So back to the benches and I decided to just work on the table legs later and stick to something easy by putting the polyurethane on it. And the day was over. We had one more day of the weekend before we headed back to Newport. Good boy! Oh, that's a good boy, Gibbs. That's a good boy. Well, I was hoping to put a second coat on the benches, but the pelt stove went out. So it's only 49 in here. So I am just going to sand it and let it warm up and then put another coat on it. Right, Wally? That's what we're gonna do. Yes, it's cold. That's why Gibby didn't come with us. Gives us in the house because it's warm in there, huh? So I sanded with the 220 and I sprayed it off with the air. And I did get back to it to put another coat of poly on it before we left, but I didn't film that. It's 
been a few weeks since we've been here, and so I'm really excited to sand these and get them level uh, and get them down to the house. I sanded with 400 and then worked on leveling. I had some washers and I put them between the leg and the table. I didn't realize Wally was wandering off with some sanding discs until editing this video. Hmm. Anyway, this was a tedious process of trying in a few washers, seeing if the bench still wobbled, figuring out where the wobble was coming from, and adding more washers. But I finally got it. So here is some music for you while you watch the tedious process. And then I did the same thing with the other bench. the floor, those little fuzzy felt things. And so um, there they sit until we put those on. But anyway, they're done. Yay! And here it is after the fuzzy feet were added. So this was a three month long project. It really didn't take us that long. It's just we weren't here to work on it. And we really like how it turned out. So thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time. Bye!